Quartermancer. Today we're going to have a little show and tell to show you guys what some of the different reels look like for different turf cultivation machines. Now essentially these are all for thatch control, reducing a denser turf and keeping the surface free from debris which limits soil density and increases thatch. All right, now most of you may already know what thatch is. For those of you who don't, it's effectively all the, the organic matter buildup, the dead and sometimes living or dying stuff that ends up accumulating in the surface layer of your turf. This stuff, as you can imagine, is not ideal because it not only prevents water, nutrients, air from entering the turf's surface, but it also stops the, all the gases and stuff that needs to escape from escaping. Now, you can imagine it almost like a smothering effect and this is not good for many reasons. It attracts pests and disease and it causes you a lot of grief. At the same time though, thatch can be helpful. Uh, so don't just think now, oh, we're going to show you a couple of turf cultivation tools that are absolutely proven to improve turf quality and remove thatch. Doesn't necessarily mean that you absolutely have to remove every ounce of thatch in your home lawn. In fact, if you look at some sports turfs, forget about golf for a second, imagine a rugby field. Rugby fields need to keep some thatch so that the turf can uh, sort of hold on or take that impact of these heavy blokes wreaking havoc on the field. Now while these are four turf cultivation processes and in some cases including aeration and grooming these are not going to be for things like solid core aeration, injection or compression aeration. This is just the stuff that would attach in this case thanks to Protea for helping me out with getting these together. This is for some of their machines and what you could attach to machines that look like cylinder mowers. This is the stuff that will attach to them. So we're not talking about the stuff that we're punching holes into the ground with, just the turf surface cultivation processes. Now keep in mind, you don't have to do any of this fancy stuff to have a, a good home lawn. Just stick to the basics. Mow, water, fertilize. Look out for weeds, look out for pests, and you'll mostly be okay. If you need a little bit of help with the beginner, beginner stuff, go back on one of my previous videos, I'll link it in the description, called Three Steps to a Better Lawn, that will help you get started. This is really those next levels. Right, before we get into this, if you are new to the channel and you feel like content like this is going to be useful to you, please hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell notification so that you're reminded every time I put up a new video. And more importantly, if you are one of the 85% of the people that continue to watch my channel, you might as well hit subscribe now too. Let's get into this. All right, thanks again to Proteo for helping me out with these units. I didn't just ask these guys because they're like a bunch of chaps, but because they actually have 95% of everything that I wanted to show you guys in the first place. Now keep in mind, the names that I'm gonna give you for these items are pretty generic and interchangeable with most brands, but some brands call the same thing something else sometimes. Uh, and they might also give them different working parameters, so just keep that in mind. So, first item on the list, this beefy guy over here is called a pin type scarifying reel, and it's effectively for complete eradication of the turf surface. So you can really scrape up your surface, pull out huge amounts of matter depending on how you set up the unit, uh, so you can use it gently if you need to, uh, or you could use it really aggressively and eat into the turf surface. This is great for soil prep, uh, so laying new, well, let's say prepping before you do a new seed project, uh, or before you lay new turf, or if you just wanted to get rid of turf and you're going to spray the glyphosate down, it's a non-selective herbicide, wait two weeks for the stuff to start doing its thing and then you're going to come through with this and just rip it all up. That is the pin top scarifying reel. Okay, the second item on the list is the blade type scarifying reel. You can see that it looks similar to the verti cutter, which is up there, but the blades are slanted. This means that it's going to pull up much more turf. Now, some brands call this a dethatcher for good reason, because it really pulls up a massive amount of thatch. For Kikuyu and Bermuda lawns, your springtime renovation done with this is going to be an absolute joy. If you had a uh, bad to very bad thatch issue. If you didn't, the Verti Cut is probably going to be for you. So this guy here is great for uh, prepping seed beds and before you plant new sod, uh, pulling up the turf surface. You could do a similar task to what this one here would do, just with a little bit less aggression. And that's why it's in this placement. So there is the wide set blades 
pretty much the same as the Verti Cutter, but slanted. That is the blade type scarifying reel. Alright, so item number three is the Verti Cutting Blade, otherwise known as a Verti Slitter. It's called that because it can actually cut perfect slits right down through the root system and into the soil. So not just cutting up the runners, not just aggressively tearing up turf, but cutting perfect lines into the, basically into the root system through the soil. So this is great for making the smaller plants that you often hear guys talking about. Uh, when trying to make turf like a kuyu finer, this is the type of blade that you're going to want to use to get that aggressive portion of the process done. Later on it will be that guy over there. But this will allow you to lay perfect lines straight through the runners into the root system, pulling out some of the soil and making perfect lines down through the soil. And that actually even helps with some surface compaction. So the verticutting blade is probably, maybe alongside that, I don't want to say it's the most useful tool for grasses, especially like the Kuyu and, and Bermuda, but I want to say it's very useful because it'll work for both cool and warm season grasses. Whereas these guys here are really going to, they're going to pull them right up and some grasses like perennial rye don't like to be ripped out of the ground because they can't regrow. But the grasses that have that ability for regeneration are going to really appreciate a little bit of aggression if they needed it. That type of aggression, they're going to really like it. That, well, let's talk about that. Okay, so the Verti grooming reel, which is this guy over here, as you can tell the blades are still perfectly straight, much closer together a little bit thinner as well and that means it does less damage in fact this doesn't even enter the soil and that's why it's called a groomer as opposed to a cutter or dethatcher or scarifier like these guys over here they can get into the soil but this one is not designed to go into the soil so this will help clean up cool and warm season grasses thin them out break it up into smaller plants and clean out thatch from above soil level maybe just a hint into the soil uh, but I'm talking the one or two millimeter type marks, not where the verti cutters or the scarifiers are going to get into. So this guy's for the task of maintaining a clear surface, a good playing surface is maintained. And these are for maintenance. And these are starting to get up to the position of fixing issues. Okay, so there you have the verti grooming reel. Probably one of my favorite items right next to the Verti Cutter. Right. Now in between these two guys, I wanted to put in another item, which is the Spring Tarn Scarifier, which I actually call a groomer. Some brands call it a scarifier because they are in regions that are more, uh, where the demographic leans more towards cool season grasses. So they'll call it a scarifier, but it is in fact not really a scarifier because you shouldn't be eating into the soil with it. Maybe only a little bit, like this grooming reel over here which is why I will call it and continue to call it a groomer. That unit I don't find very useful in warm season grasses or any creeping type grass because I feel it it rips more than cuts. And that's where something like this is going to be better for you. But if you've got something like perennial rye or tall fescue that spring tine um, scarifying reel is or groomer is going to do wonders for you. All right, last item on the list is the nylon sweeper. Some brands may call this a turf brush, and it is exactly that. It is a rotating broom designed for keeping the turf's surface free from debris. Remember that debris that ends up building up, so it's grass clippings and other junk that ends up settling on the surface. You're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna clean that up before it becomes a thatch issue or more muck that you pull out when conducting dethatching processes. So this grooming reel is predominantly for fine turfs, but if you note here, it is a really, really strong nylon bristle and that will remove thatch from fine turfs as well. So if you've got the need for something like this, it proves to be very, very handy. And this is also great for brushing in your top dressing. There you have it. Five very useful attachments for the guys who are interested. You'll see these ones with the red attachment on the end. They're for the SVG machines, which literally means scarify verticut groom. And the grooming reel at the end, you can see it's got a different set or different bearing assembly on the sides that is for the SR range uh, I think they are busy with more attachments like this for the SR series as well so hopefully soon you'll have a lot more interesting stuff that you can interchange yourself available from Protea and there you have it if you guys have any questions please stick it in the comments section or pop me an email and we'll be doing more videos on each and every one of these attachments individually in future so stay tuned for that cheers